delivery systems, we're moving along, virtual classroom tools. So this is like Zoom, live video streaming. This creates as much interaction as possible between the, the teachers uh, and the students and also between the students and each other. So live video, screen sharing, um, rich media interactive presentations. Uh, st students can collaborate online by using, you know, side rooms or other tools. Uh, you can record a session, which then students who couldn't attend class or students who want to review it or parents who want to go back to find out what something meant can access it. Um, and it can also be used for real time. This is an interesting, you know, so these are names you all should know, right? Google Meet, which is, um, you know, their competitor to Zoom, Zoom, which we're using now, Cisco, WebEx, GoToMeeting. Um, I think this is one that is becoming a um, commodity. So in the beginning uh, with Skype, this was novel. Um, the the um, hardware systems didn't handle it very well. Those of you who were early Skype users, users will know it was extremely frustrating to use and the pictures were very fuzzy and you lost connections often. This has all gotten better, partially because of these programs and partially because of the internet backbone has gotten more robust. Um, I think basically we're going to a point where any uh, classroom management software that you use is going to have this already built into it. But in the meantime, you may have to use one of these, one of these systems as a, as a separate, um, you know, separate platform. Um, one of the things we provided for you is a list of, uh, you know, we call it in the slide collaborative learning tools. You know, this is because we want to sound very uh, professional, but I think really these are like cool learning tools. Um, these are little things, widgets, applets, um, uh, specialized things that really can create personality in an online learning environment. Um, uh, most of them are quite simple. They're not essential. Uh, I think teachers who are more comfortable with technology and who want to put more of their own personality into it will be more likely to use these. This is also a great way for you as a manager to suggest something to a teacher that's simple and easy, and then when they use it to give them praise and reinforcement uh, for, uh, for doing that. 